Holly Ridge home in Hurricane Florence has had their world turned upside down again with a brain cancer diagnosis in their eight year old son. WWE's Matt Bennett spoke to the boy's grandmother about the uphill battle that the family is facing. It's a big story at seven. It is um, probably one of the worst diagnoses that we could have heard. After Hurricane Florence left them homeless, eight-year-old Perrin, his younger brother, their parents, and their dog were staying with the boy's grandmother, Donna Javaris, in Hampstead. With the house starting to feel crowded, they decided to spend Christmas visiting family in Utah. Perrin had been having some headaches, and uh, we thought that it had to do with his glasses. Once in Utah, Perrin experienced a headache so painful, he had to be rushed to the hospital. Doctors believe the change in altitude made the pain worse. Jamie called me and said, Mom, get out here now. Um, Perrin has a brain tumor. Javaris got on the first plane to Utah and was able to see Perrin before he underwent surgery to remove the tumor. He told me, um, Nana, please don't worry. This is going to make my headaches go away. After a seven-hour operation, the tumor was removed, but Perrin was diagnosed with stage 4 glioblastoma, the same brain cancer John McCain had. We are going to fight it every every single breath we have. If I could, I'd take it from him in a second. Javara says the family will stay in Utah for at least six weeks so Perrin can undergo chemotherapy and radiation. She says Perrin's father, a retired Marine Raider and mother, are unable to work while they're in Utah, but they're staying positive. They're a strong family. They're a strong Raider family, and um, it's going to take a lot more than this to, to get them. In Hampstead, Matt Bennett, WWAY News. Now, the grandma also says she believes everything happens for a reason. And if the family's home wasn't destroyed, they wouldn't have gone to Utah and Perrin would still be undiagnosed. Now, if you'd like to read more about their dog's journey from North Carolina to Utah, or if you'd like to donate to the family, we're going to put a link to their GoFundMe page on our website, WWAYTV3.com. Well, new at